Welcome to A Level and AP Physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In today's class, we will talk about principle of superposition and then we will answer some past paper questions using this principle. First of all, let's try to understand what is principle of superposition. Principle of superposition is a very simple principle. We can use this one to add two or more waves, but waves have to be of the same type. And then the total displacement at any point will be equal to the sum of the individual displacements at that point so here we have to be very clear about two points the first thing we need to understand what does it mean by same type same type means you can add sound with sound or you can add light with light but you cannot add sound with light the second thing we need to understand is displacement displacement is a vector quantity so displacement can be positive and displacement also can be negative let's try to visualize principle of superposition with the help of simple animation as you can see here two waves are approaching from two different directions at this point they meet each other now how we can find the resultant wave at this point simply we need to add the individual displacements for example you can see at this point these two waves they have the same displacement so now we will just add these two displacements together so you can see here they have equal displacement and they have positive displacements so we will simply add and this process we will repeat for all the points and then we will just connect all the points and we will get the resultant wave and now on the negative side we can also see these two waves they have the same displacement but this time the displacement is negative so we will add negative with negative so here is how we will add so we repeat again for the next point you can see here again we added these two displacements and same for the next point you will do this one for many points for all the points you will repeat the same process and now we are just gonna connect all points together and so here is our final wave Let's try to understand a little bit about what is constructive interference and what is destructive interference. Constructive interference simply means that when two waves they meet and they are in phase. So they will interfere constructively and the resultant displacement will be greater. Means the resultant displacement will be maximum as you can see here. On the other hand, when two waves they are in antiphase and they interfere with each other they will cancel each other and that interference we call is destructive interference and the resultant displacement will be minimum it just depends on displacement of two waves if they have the same displacements and resultant displacement will be zero now we will use concept of principle of superposition to answer this past paper question as you can see here in this question it is given to us that two signals are approaching each other uh, one signal is approaching from left side and the other signal is approaching from right side as you can see here and these two signals they completely overlap each other and we need to use principle of superposition to find the shape of the resulting signal it's a very simple question if you are clear about principle of superposition so let me explain to you how you will find the final answer as you can see here i have already drawn for you so you can see here these two signals they completely overlap each other so at this point you can see we have two signals as you can see here in this diagram i have added these two signals together i use red color for this signal approaching from the right side and i use black 
color for the signal approaching from left side and the blue color is telling you the shape of the resulting signal so in this case our final answer will be a Thank you.